All right, uh, this is Finder with another video walkthrough. Um, I teased this in my previous uh, set of videos for Zenith Hunter that I would be doing a walkthrough for uh, Revenge of the Sunfish, which is an interesting game from the game maker community uh, from about, well, actually it says right there in the date uh, for the application. It was in 2007. Um, so I've played this. The first time I played it would have been back in college, which would have been around 2008, so pretty soon after it actually came out. Um, and it's quite an experience. It's certainly not a typical game. Uh, it's more set up to be a series of loosely connected mini-games, sort of. Um, but it's something that's easier to, to look at than to explain. So I'll be going through and... Uh, showing you how it's done. Let me just get that out of the way. And this is just the intro scene. It's an important uh, plot points being established here. So, um, this is the game. I think I'll just go through, there's a lot of different routes and you can't necessarily hit them all in one playthrough. Um, so I'm just gonna go with the most common route, I think, to start with. So we shoot that and then go on down. Uh, this is some weird face thing. And no matter what you answer, <clears throat> pretty much doesn't let you do anything until you get to the last option. Uh, this game you can't really... Okay. Uh, some of these games are really short and they sort of just happen so it's kind of hard to explain. Uh, here, you just walk and you can jump the space. You just uh, scoot on over here. One thing that's interesting is if you get hit by one of those red things, it turns you into a woman, which doesn't seem to really have any effect. Um, for this, it's probably not clear just how it's set up, what you're supposed to do. But there's this little toggle that you can use to cycle through colors and you want to stop it on green and then go into the time machine. Okay, so this section is mostly for jump scares. We'll go left to right. We'll do the cat next. And the, uh, the bird. And this bear holding a snake. Better do the bear again. No, I'm just kidding. Well, let's do the, the seal. That is the correct one, apparently. So, this is the next sequence in the plot. I guess we can't fly anymore and we can just fire at things. Now for this it isn't actually clear what the controls are, but if you press control rather than space then you can shoot fire. But that said, it doesn't seem to do anything. Like you can't shoot that little amoeba thing, and if you shoot this thing it becomes like a spike. There's a spike up there too, I've tried shooting at it a bunch and nothing happens. And nothing else seems to really go on. But once you go to this side of the screen, you can uh, jump down this pit. That's nice. Um, for this section, it's the same controls. 
We're supposed to collect these hearts. At least in theory. I don't think there's any... I don't think there's like a max number of hearts that are meant to appear. You just sort of keep collecting them. And that's well and good, but I found that if you jump right into this enemy, it takes you to the next screen. You're like a little squid thing shooting spray paint at... Uh... Alright, well, this is the next segment. Um, so you're going to have to mash the space bar quite a bit. None of these numbers mean anything. You just hit the space bar, and I think that centermost red bar indicates your, your progress. And eventually it should... There we go. Fucking sweet indeed. So, we're good there, and then we have another sequence where we have to uh, spam the space bar. It's a little more palatable than eating dirt, but uh, it is pretty unusual regardless. Actually, I think it doesn't matter. You can press other keys too, and it builds up the meter faster. So we'll just go ahead and do that. And then we're good. I'm gonna still press the ender key while well, the space bar. Great. So that's that segment. That, um,. Okay, so for this one, you can answer the incorrect ones if you'd like, with the enter key. For some more horrifying sequences. And then you go with the right answer. This one, I'm not entirely sure what it's about, but you can control these eyeballs and spread them around the screen. But as far as I know, it doesn't do anything. You just have to wait for the uh, the song to stop, basically. It takes you to the next level. All right, so this is the egg spit section. I'm gonna just go ahead. There's a couple options here. I'm gonna go with no. Takes you to this little dude. This time control shoots a little yellow laser, I guess. And you can just mosey on across. Okay, so this is another space bar smashing segment. It's not as long though. Okay, well this next segment is pretty much just all particle effects that don't have any gameplay elements to them. It just sort of happens. Um, this one, you're supposed to use the mouse actually. And hold right click to move and left click to shoot. Actually, I think I'm gonna just die. There we go. Okay, this one is another shooty one. I wonder if I can get that dragonfly. Or whatever that's supposed to be. I don't think it goes low enough. This segment is pretty similar. Well, it's virtually identical to um, the arcade game Berserk, if you know about it. Um, the difference is you can shoot this yellow skull and actually kill it. In the original Berserk, you couldn't. And also, it was a red smiley face. So this one's more like an arcade reimagining than anything. And I guess, technically speaking, it doesn't matter if you win or lose in this section, because you end up at the same level. Um, so this one is kind of weird, but you're a blue rabbit. And I think you're supposed to... 
You can technically, you can shoot things and lay traps. I haven't found any way that that can be used really in any way other than just the effects. I think there are some enemies you can defeat. Like these ones, maybe? Maybe not. Now, okay. I think you're supposed to go in this house. Um, for this one, it doesn't matter if you live or die, so I'm just gonna bite it. And then there's this screen. Okay, here we are in the actual... We can do something with this. Uh, so this is an actual gameplay section that you always end up at. It's the ending, essentially. Um... I guess Dr. Bob is in charge of the sunfish or something. So first we want to jump over these mines. And then we want to jump over here. Go up here. Jump down there. I should note that if you die, I think three or four times it'll kick you to the next screen automatically. So you'll miss a couple of screens, but it's not too bad. These things are a pain in the ass. Um, but you're supposed to punch them before they hit you. Or, whoops. There I go. Whoop. Okay, so punch. I'm gonna try, whoops. I meant to jump over them. Whoops, okay, I didn't. You have to be very precise in the jump timing. But again, it doesn't matter a whole lot. It's just slightly faster. Whoa. Hmm. Whoop. Somehow I glitched through the floor and then blew up. Uh, I couldn't do it again. Well, again, it doesn't matter overly much. Now watch out for that mine. Now it's the climactic battle. So Dr. Bob is evil and also dead. And we have to destroy his creation by punching it off this building. But it'll shoot lasers and also these little glittery bombs. And if you die, you get put back at the beginning of the screen. Which makes it harder to get to him. Um, whoops. Well, you'll see in a second here. Makes it harder to get back there because of those lasers. The timing... Oh. The timing on those lasers is difficult to uh, get past. But on this screen you can die as many times as you like. Dang it. And it'll still bring you back because it's the final boss. Alright. Dodge the explosives. There we go. And you can't do, and you can't actually jump off there. But uh, that is the final boss, so that is the game, and our painstakingly assembled ending. So great, we beat the sunfish. Uh, and this game was by Jacob Businski, it looks like. So good to know. Oh, uh, that kicks you out of it. Um. So yeah, that is Revenge of the Sunfish, but there's a lot more to it than just the levels that I showed. So we'll get into it in the next video. So until then.